All right, we got Fantasy Foot Hero Smaller Act. Let's take a look at them and let's try them out. We're looking at a card that has four star skill moves with a four star weave put high, medium, work rates, and he is 5'7. His acceleration type at this current moment is controlled explosive. 93 pace, 89 shooting, 82 passing, 92 dribbling, 86 physical. When we do dive into his in game stats. It is pretty clear that this guy looks like he's going to be an all around good striker in this game. 95 acceleration, 91 sprint speed, definitely some really good base pace stats. He's got some good shooting stats, 91 attacking positioning. 93 finishing 88 shot power yeah his passing could be underwhelming an 83 short pass and 79 long pass honestly guys he is a striker in this game it's not really a necessity for a striker to be really good at passing at the end of the day he's going to be at the end of all your chances he's going to be the finisher so that's honestly not even a big deal he's got some amazing dribbling stats guys 92 agility 98 bounce 91 reactions 91 ball control 93 dribbling 91 composure every single stat above 90 already know how good this guy is going to feel on the ball especially since he is 5'7 so i'm really excited to try that out and along with that guys he also does got amazing physical stats 86 strength 86 aggression when you combine that with his left stick dribbling be very hard to get this guy off the ball now the recommended chemistry style for this card definitely has to be that hunter it gives them a plus four in acceleration and a plus eight in sprint speed making them both at 99 and he also does get some really good shooting upgrades as well a plus four in attacking positioning is just going to make his attacking ai even better a plus six in finishing is going to bump it up all the way to 99 when you can bump a guy's finishing up to 99 it's just going to make him that much more consistent when it does come to finishing also you do get a plus four in shot power once again if you can get shot power above 90 definitely something you cannot complain about the biggest reason for the hunter is to keep his acceleration type at explosive for the type of player that i'm expecting this guy to be he's going to be very good in space and he's going to be very good in dribbling and to complement those two abilities very well you need to make sure this guy is somewhat explosive just so when you are getting by players he's just going to have that little bit more acceleration just to make sure that this guy is explosive when he does come off the ball and that's definitely going to come in key with a card like this now, a lot of you guys are going to look at his in-game stats and say, you know what? I might put a Hawk on him. A Hawk is fantastic on this card as well. It's going to give you the pace boost still. It's going to give you the boost in his shooting. And it's also going to upgrade his strength and his aggression. But however, it's not going to make him explosive. So that is why I avoided putting a Hawk on him. Once again, if you guys prefer that, 100% go out and do that. But in my opinion, I think a Hunter, it's definitely the best possible option for this card. When we do take a look at his play styles, he had two play style pluses in the Rapid Plus and the Press Proven Plus. The Rapid Plus, guys, honestly, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's just going to make him that much quicker in general. He also does got the Press Proven Plus, like how I mentioned before. The description literally says he's going to keep exceptionally close control of the ball while dribbling at jog speed. Jog speed, guys, is less sick dribbling. So that means he's just going to keep control of the ball a lot better than most players in this game while performing left stick dribbling also he can shield the ball much more effectively from stronger opponents this right here combined with this already great dribbling stats is going to make it even harder for people to get the ball off of this guy this has to be the best thing about this card and i cannot wait to try out his dribbling guys i expect his dribbling to be even better than most players in this game he's got the first touch play style as well pretty self-explanatory it's just gonna allow him to have a good first touch definitely gonna come in clutch in those tight spaces on top and inside the box he's got the technical play style guys you guys know how much i love it when you can really utilize his control dribbling when you combine that with his left stick dribbling I'm expecting to create a lot of space with this guy and that's how i think this card is going to score a lot of his goals he's got the quick step i love quick step as well combine that with rapid a very very deadly duo relentless so this guy's not going to get tired and for some reason he's got power header i'm not complaining but i'm not really quite sure how much this is actually going to get used the only knock on this card is that he doesn't have a shooting play style like a finesse shot or a travella it's going to limit him a little bit in his finishing honestly guys for how good i expect this guy's dribbling to be I honestly do not even think it's going to be that much of an issue, but that's definitely something I'm going to keep an eye on when I am trying out this card. Obviously, for this review, he will be playing up top. I will be trying him out in a 4-3-2-1. This is just so he can be our main striker in the attack and also to test out his attacking AI. Really curious to see how often he stays central. And I'm really curious to see if he does interchange any positions with the left or the right forward. But with that being said, guys, let's hop into the gameplay. Love that smaller egg. Gets by them all. Perfect. Love that. Go smaller. Love that. Lo love that acceleration. Rounds the keeper. Love that. There you go. That's the example of what this card is going to be good at. There you go. That's a lovely finish on top of the box. 
Yeah, that's lovely, man. Malarek makes that run inside there. Perfect. Our post. Love that finish, man. Gonna make that run behind the back line once again. A little bit out wide, but it's all good. If I give it back there, where does he move? Back centrally. Absolute perfect, man. Malarek. Love that. Beats everybody. Love that finish, man. That's all created because he drifts back centrally. Allows him to get into that space to pick up the ball. Beats everybody, and then he scores. Really happy with his attacking AI so far. Malarek. The composure. Unbelievable, man. There you go. Love that. Perfect, man. That press proven on top of the box is going to be so key to this card. I'm telling you. Ball sticks to his foot like glue. This guy's reminding me a lot of that UCL hero, Carlos Tevez, if I'm honest. Go smaller wreck. That's lovely. There you go. In space. This should be a goal here. Of course it is. Wow. When you can score off kickoff, you know this card's good. He's on top of the box. If we can get into him, it's clutch. Like right there. That space recognition is fantastic. Wow. Once again, guys. So shifty. Beats him. Near post. Balarek gets in that space there. Far post. Lovely. Like, he's not making any complex runs. Nothing really creative. But he's making all the basic runs that strikers need to make in this game in order to create space. And he's getting the ball and he's finishing. That's why I love his attacking AI in that space. What a run, man. What a run, man. Wow, what a finish. Wow, oh my god. Pace he has to get up with the play is unreal. Look at the space recognition even when he's trailing in the play. God, I love this card so much, guys. It's so much fun to use. Dead ass, no bullshit. Like, I'm being genuinely serious right now. Yes, guys, so after using Fantasy Foot Hero Smallerek, I definitely have to say that this card is fantastic in this game. And at the time I'm recording this video, his SBC price tag is around 350k. And in my opinion, I honestly do think that it's an absolute bargain for a card like this. The best comparison comparison for this card is UCL Hero Tevez. If you guys enjoyed using that card, you are 100% going to enjoy using this card. And in my opinion, I actually enjoyed using this card a lot more than Tevez. But in my opinion, Smaller is better because of this press proven plus playstyle. Once again, in the description, it says keeps exceptionally close control of the ball while dribbling at jock speed. This right here makes his less sick dribbling better than majority of players in this game. Ball sticks to his foot like glue. And the way you can turn using his less sick dribbling is unlike most players in this game in my opinion it's like messy it's that good in this game guys and it's so effective and when you guys can utilize it properly this card is absolutely amazing and once again guys he can shield the ball much more effectively from stronger opponents combine this with his strength as well it just made it 10 times harder for people to get the ball off of this guy and it's very very noticeable people are trying to get the ball off of him they're trying to bump him off they're trying to tackle him it does not matter. He still shields the ball. And once again, it just makes it so hard for people to get the ball off of this guy. And because of this playstyle, the best attribute of this card is his dribbling. Also because of the technical playstyle, his control dribbling is fantastic. His pace is fantastic, guys. This guy is very good in space. If you can get him in behind the back line, nobody is catching up to this card. His shooting inside the box is very consistent. His four-star weak foot is honestly good enough, guys. And that definitely comes in clutch inside the box as well. Like how I mentioned before, his strength is fantastic as well. 86 strength, 86 aggression. And overall, guys, this card is fantastic. One of the most fun cards I've used so far this year. And 100%, if you guys do have the fodder, if you guys do have the coins to buy fodder, 100% go out and complete this SBC. You will thank me later. He is so much fun to use in this game, guys. And I guarantee you that he will score a whole lot of goals for you guys as well. But with that being said, if you guys did enjoy the video, leave a like. That would be much appreciated. Subscribe for more EAFC content. Make sure to follow all the socials in the description. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.